for approximately $140 million in gold that the French privateer Louis Ari and his indigenous allies are believed to have divided up and buried in 11 different treasure caches two centuries ago. When we went around the 18-foot circle, we actually had strong possibilities. One there, one here, one there, so within 10 feet, but the only problem is they're 10 feet deep. Is it a coincidence that these things were 10 feet apart, right on the 18-foot line? All right, guys, let's hit it. Let's do this. Today is a big day. We feel confident that we have the next right spot that's the most viable place to search and dig. Wow, what do you got there? I mean, it's badly rusted, yeah. but it is a nail. It's a clinched nail. So it means they would have pounded it through and then bent and it. They bent it over. So they wouldn't, it wouldn't come back out. Oh, to seal something to hold yeah. it in? I would guess it's a hand wrought nail. Ooh. What would you estimate the age of that? Late 1700s, 1790s. Yes. And it could have been out there and then dredged yeah. and dumped here. Exactly. Yeah. But it's in the backfill. It's in the backfill, understood. But yet, if there were pirates skulking around here doing things, this would put in the time period. Yeah, so. and where did this backfill come from? Where did the backfill come from? Yeah. If Ari was here, which we believe he was from the history, tells us he was, this fits that timeline. That's good. Because Louis Ari is believed to have been helped by indigenous people when he buried his treasure. It offers evidence that they were indeed digging in the right place. However, the find could also qualify the area as a historically protected site and put their entire search in legal jeopardy. Hello. Upon discovering these items, we had to have Dr. Aaron Taylor call the Tampa History Center and get instructions as how to proceed because our dig has now changed. How much did it change on the pendulum? We don't know. It now goes in their hands. In the back of my mind, I know, boys, this could be the end of a, of a short day here. <laughs> Look at Mike, Mike's like, he's there. confused. We're back. <laughs> there you go. We're looking for a little bit of, a... we're back. We're here. We're here. We're back. We're back. Welcome to Anclo. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time. It really is about time. Finally. Welcome. Welcome, Mike. Thank Welcome you for coming in. Club. Thank you for showing Thank up. Thank you for joining yeah. us. All right, so 50% it is. Man. Sensitivity. So this is what we're doing today. We came back to this location um, just for the fact that we never finished, finished it off from the previous time we were here. We got hit with water. So a remote viewer had given us a location over here by these palm trees that I want to definitely check out. I'm going to lower sensitivity to eliminate any small objects. We did and find iron there. We, we, we did find iron at that spot. <laughs> but my problem is this. Because of the water level, when we were at that location and we started digging at four feet, we did hit water. Water does carry different minerals that be, can be giving us a false reading. That's my only biggest concern. But I'm changing the sensitivity, lowering it so that we're going to lose depth but at the same time, we'll have a bigger span of picking up larger objects and the small little uh, nails or anything else that could be out here. But let's let's do that, and we're going to also comb that area right there again and prepare for the dig. And yeah. we're going to go on our 11 caches that are within that 18-foot area of the well. We know that there's at least 11 here, maybe 14. We don't know what it is. But that's what we're going to try and determine today in our best odds at coming back because we now have permission to dig with heavy equipment. Which has got to be That's so game on. Game on. Yeah. Game on. You hear that, cowboy? <laughs> game on. Saddle up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> we're going this way because we received some photos from someone in the Carolinas that seems to think that there's something of value over here buried and it could be big. We don't know for sure yet, but that's what we're going to try and determine today. And we have markers along these palm trees. Hey, where's the cowboy? We're back. Go up instead of down. We started sensitivity? No, started at 15 and work our way up. 
Yeah, but zero is your zero is your nominal number because zero sensitivity picks up. You no, know, one hundred percent is your your highest sensitivity. Right. That's what you don't want, though. Right. So I'm going to go. We want. 50. Don't we want to work away from it? Yeah. So I'm just going to start at fifty and see if we get anything to work our way up. Why don't you start at fifty? That's what I said. Don't start. you want to work your way away from a hundred percent, though? Don't you? What are you saying? Work our way down? Yeah. Yeah, because you. you no, because I'd rather I work our way up and see what we're not picking up first, and then if anything, then we try to go higher to pick up something. So you're going to grid this and basically yeah, utilize it? Yeah, we're going to have to grid this whole thing. Yeah, if you do it like that, we're going to have to grid it, and then you're going to have to do the same thing. 50, 60, 70, 80. You're going to have to pick that up for him. He's old. 90. <laughs> All right, so we know by this picture, here is our palm tree markers. So we're, there, or he is saying, Robert is, is that we got an average depth, five to eight feet, three wide, 2.2 wide, 23 pounds each gold, yep. and 10 pounds of silver cachet, no jewels. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna obviously cite that there and by his readings, that should put us right around in this area where Mike's Mike's taking uh, control of now. So I lowered my sensitivity to 50%. Now I'm going to lose depth, but I kind of want to lose the depth because I know at four feet there is uh, water. So we're just going to grid this back and forth. And if I have to, I'm going to raise it back up again. Yeah. Aaron, live, leave your sensitivity high because I want to see if you pick anything up and then I'll come over it with this. Does that make sense? Okay. And just so you know, he is, he's really not a cowboy. He's like a hillbilly wannabe. You ever heard of an Irish cowboy? No, here have I very quiet. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hey, cowboy wannabe, are you going to do anything with that thing or are you just going to hold on to it? I can't do nothing with you in, even close to me. Is that a branding tool? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's dead. My problem is at 50%, I really don't know I can't be, I can't what the depth be is now. I'd like just to hear one little beep, man, just to notice this thing even working right now. Yeah, the, the biggest issue that we have right now is, is obviously the closer we get to that river, even though we're at low tide, that water level is going to come up, and that's, uh, that's our enemy for sure. I mean, we know that there was First Nation people here. We, we've already proven that, what we've taken out of the ground. Our, our main thing in this area here is just to focus on is it something worthy that we need to take a closer look at to actually dig you know we, we know there's stuff here we don't know how much or really what it is but the facts don't lie that there's 11 that are known 11 that are marked these were sent to us and they're worthy of being checked out at the very least so whether something comes out of it or not we'll see here in a couple minutes but it's worth being checked out after we aired on, on History Channel, we had received a call from uh, a remote viewer. And he had uh, told us that there might have been possibly two other treasures here. And this is one of them that we're actually looking at right now. And where you're standing is probably supposed to be 23 pounds of gold or silver. Can't remember which one it was, which is from... three of gold and... Yeah, and it's supposed to be three to five feet deep. So we're trying to prove his theory about there being something here, which oh, I wanted to be something here because if he's right, he knows about a lot of other treasures. So I'm going to scan this right now and see if I can get anything. I'm going to turn my sensitivity up because I don't seem to be getting anything on it. Maybe you should expand the square a little bit because based off of like sort of small measurements, like I feel like it's 20 feet because if you count from there to where that palm tree is it's about 20 feet and then from the palm tree here it starts at 20 feet so I think we need to expand the square maybe over there. yeah 
Yeah, like I think it needs to be expanded. Like I know this shoreline changes obviously, yeah. but not so much where it's making a huge difference. Cause you can, I mean, it's continuously sort of looked the same as time's gone on. And it's not a lot. <laughs> You're going off a small Mark tip here? You Mark very small tape. tip, okay. <laughs> Mark the tip's so small, no one can see it. <laughs> you said you're going off a small tip you got. <laughs> so small, you guys. So it's small. So it's so small. Hey, you married him. <laughs> His name is Seth, no Jules. No family Jules. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, it says Jules? <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> yeah, but did, wasn't that reversed? How to find Jules. No family Jules. Wow. <laughs> No, you gotta clean that up. That thing is dirty. Are you okay? Yeah. I don't want you falling. I don't want to trip over the treasure. Yeah, don't trip over the treasure, please. Mike's been tripping over for years. <laughs> Give me anything. I don't get that. Every time I try to scan it, it doesn't give me any scan. Okay, I hit it right there. percent cavity Let me give you a picture it just means it's rusted iron yeah it's small picture though but what does it look like like that is yeah. that a good picture yeah gotcha. turn it around oh turn it <laughs> why <laughs> you're just mean <laughs> i don't know how big i really i mean it's i try to scan it, it won't give me a scan so i can't really determine how big it is there's something here it's showing that iron could you entertain me for a second can i entertain you yeah what do you want me to do tell off my shirt no, no, no. he's my You're magic mic <laughs> <laughs> okay um no like can you check further out like closer to the shore i know it'll be Mike, why are you not to messed up this whole but with, with common sense like i think a court like according to this this map, like we need to be closer out here. So and, you want me to go that way? Yeah, like Further still. Further over or just, am, no. I, am I okay with you're the line here? You're okay to the alignment, but I think we need to be closer out here. All right, you can do that. Okay. What do I get in return? It's right there. I'll go get the shovel. I can't really count this thing to the ground because I have no... I'll go get the shovel. Okay? Yeah. I mean, that's probably only two feet, so... I'll be back. Okay. If we dig on up, there's something here, I'm going to shit. I will listen to my wife from now on. Maybe. Finally! Hey, how you doing? You finally listened to me. How bad are you? She's got supersonic ears. They're bad ears. <laughs> born from bats. Alright, let me finish scanning the rest of this. Okay. Yeah, did you bring them for us? Right out here. Yeah. Straight mm -hmm. off of the line of the two columns, uh -huh. there's a spring that's located right out there. Uh -huh. And uh, we, my daughter and I, about 15 years ago, were just playing out there. And um, I felt the cold water coming out. So I dug my hand down and it was nothing but clay. The hole was probably about that big. So I just started picking clay out. I'm like, oh, you can make little, you know, figurines, put them in the, you know, sun, dry them out. We'll go back home and paint them. I got down to my elbow and I started pulling stuff out of the, the hole. Now, I know one of them is an animal bone, but the other one's a vertebrae. And I, did, I thought maybe it was... Break and go up by the table yeah, and yeah. check the yeah. Cowboys from Massachusetts. Yeah. Are there any cowboys from Massachusetts? Yeah. I have no idea. I haven't been there. I haven't been there long enough. There you go. There, there's my proof. Darren. <laughs> this one here is the most delicate. And I thought it was just maybe a vertebrae from maybe a dolphin. But when he started mentioning bones, and it doesn't look to be very 
young. Let's put it that way. Everything was encased in clay, and I, I thought it was a rock. Huh. And I just brushed, I slowly sunk it in water, you know, and got it all clean. Do you, you think that's manatee? I think it's manatee. Yeah. Not L4, L5S1? No. <laughs> well, this guy pulled out probably 10 feet from that hole. And I know this is an animal bone, but it's all calcified, so it's definitely old. Wow. Can I buy a handle? Yeah, go ahead. And then touching it. These two models, I know. Let um, me take a picture of that. Spotted way. about. Make sure you get a picture of yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. That's, that's the part that's got me intrigued. These were all encased in clay, and I got the clay out. Huh. Turn this one on. Oh, no, those are, yeah, those are no, those are pre eight. They're eighteen, early eighteen hundreds, according to my all of everything I've been looking at. Huh. Wow. So that That's tells us that there were First Nation people here. Those and to find those intact, that's an incredible find there. Well, it's, if these were First Nation, that wouldn't be. I don't know. You know what that, that looks like to me? Old medicine bottles. Hey, you know what that From looks the like to me? The steroids <laughs> bottles, right? Yeah, well, but no. If you look at the bottom, it's got the the where they clip it off. So they they hand blown. Yeah, it is hand blown. You mm -hmm. can see that right there. And with the indentation, nice. but this it. looks too perfect on the top, and they're both identically the same. That tells me it could be 20s, 30s. So cork bottle, and then I've been doing a little research. You That's can see the, where they had the wire along the cork part of a fishing lure, edge. a fishing lure. I don't float. know. These were probably down about maybe six inches in the clay mm -hmm. as I was playing around and digging it up for my dog. Uh, you know what this reminds me of? We we found something similar like this in Coral Creek where there's supposed to be a body that was buried there. And the bone kind of looks similar like this right here, but it was, it was a smaller piece. It was inside a raccoon hole. And I thought it might have been a, a piece of pipe or something, but now I'm looking close and it looks, the center of it looks close to what that looks like. Maybe a farm animal on the boat to support. Oh, it's a weird odd. This is the weird part of it. If it wasn't what that kind shape, of knuckle would, would be? Toes were, you know what? Did you know, someone carve that? Maybe. Look at that. Looks like it could have been carved, and then somebody hogged a hole through it for something. That does. That's actually. Really that doesn't possible. look natural, like a natural knuckle. No, that that looks like someone worked that. A tool. Yeah. A tool. Like a tool. And I've had these for 15 years sitting on the shelf. I'm like, ah. You know what? Let me get a picture and of And then when I saw this and he's talking about Tampa bones, they said, uh, let me just there, go and bring them down and show them. Did you get photos there? Mm -hmm. okay. I already sent them to my wife. You did? Yeah. Let me get a picture of the end of that, Mike. Do you know might know what these are? Yeah, yeah, that looks like it yeah. might have been. Yeah, you yeah. can take this box. I mean, she's got, remember, she used to dig for artifacts. She's got bottles coming out or yin yang at her. Yeah. Well, it's very interesting. Yeah. yeah, to find them buried in just a, like a localized spot, like I said, mm -hmm. in about a 10 foot area of clay around that little spring that huh. was in the. And when I tell you when I went down, I went down and it was down this deep. Wow. When I started, I thought it was well, just a stick. And these two were found close near mm -hmm. each other? Yes, yeah, so Some if, you, if yeah, you align the yourself in the water at okay. low tide. Yeah. Go up 20 feet well, beyond the but, water line. Well, look, so when I, I stepped on the spring and I just started dusting the sand around, and then um, I found the clay, and that's when I'm like, Ariana, come yeah. on over, you know? Let's, you, you can play with the clay up on the beach. And as I dug a little bit more and dug the hole wider, but this, that's this. when I started finding the other stuff. And it was all within, I don't know, what, two, three feet well, of each other. Like it was top one. The top one. Yeah. You would think that? If you guys want to take these with you and, and study them well, more, you're more if than I did welcome. anything, what I would do is I would take them to Rodney Kite the, at the Tampa History Elmer? Museum. Yeah, um, Michael, why don't we send that to uh, Dr. Taylor and see what he says. Did you? I can never remember his name. It's Blake Hollum. Aaron? <laughs> the other Aaron. Yeah. yeah. It's the other Aaron? Uh-huh. The, the A Aaron? Yeah, I think maybe Dr. Taylor would like to see all that. And, Probably. See what he thinks about it. I mean, I have, I have, I found a cow bone like that, but it doesn't have these grooves like it my, has on here. My wife said that's a that's a deer. That's from a deer. deer? Yeah. And those grooves are were yeah. natural like that. That's on, on my with the cut in between. Right them? Yeah, I'm curious to see 
That's not natural. There's no way. Oh, what, it looks like someone What's a made deer bone that? doing 20 feet in the water? Buried in clay. Well, you gotta remember. Well, it carved it's, out it's there. Sure oh, yeah, that's yeah. what it looks it's like. It really does in. look like yeah, it's carved. It's moving. Yeah. And another thing because is, 204 years ago, that river might have been that way by an eighth yeah, of a mile or a sixteenth right? of a mile. Don't you think it's carved in there? We don't know. We that's, know that that's that real round. It's, yeah. it's well, crazy there, how round the boat ramp, yeah, and that was dug in the '70s. Like yeah. Like, yeah. So it's like machines. This all could have yeah. been. And obviously, yeah. these islands here Sorry. are all yeah. dredging yeah. material yeah. from the the late right. '50s, mid '50s, right. when they actually dredged the channel out. Right, and you can see that the all down, down the, where yeah. they dredge for the channel right. Yeah. Right. the coastal. So, I mean, there's there's a very good chance there was obviously a lot of wildlife came here to drink and eat yep. or whatever. Now, I definitely want to get some roll of where you said that that spring, I'm sure Michael would like to see that if you walk us over there. Yep. We want to see definitely where where that spring is you're talking about, where these items were found. Here. Okay, no problem. It's a humorous. Because to us, that could be mean, mean something. Yeah, it puts us in a little different area. Yes, it does. Now, we also know that down that way, where the bridge is to go to Miss Vicky's, at low tide to the left, there is a natural spring there. Mm -hmm. It's so not big, but the water does trickle out of it, and we licked it, and it was fresh water. Yep. Yep. And only, ex only exposed at low tide. There's nothing in that ditch, and then you see it just bubbling up and running towards the river. Mm -hmm. So that was interesting. Now, we metal I metal detected that whole area. It's like a, we'll go over there later, and I'll show it to you and see what you think. But we metal detected that whole area and we didn't find i didn't get any hits well can you can you give us an actual location sure. straight out yeah. so i mean you when you're swimming you can you can feel the spring yeah. you can feel the water coming up but however those trees there yeah in the uh, mid 70s they were there yeah i have a picture in tales of west pasco an old old book that was written in the, in the in the 50s and 60s and whatever and i noticed that those that clump of trees they were there they were very small This, did this go out 20 feet out still? The There's land? no way to tell. I only have a picture of where the wellhead cap is and where the well was. I don't have oh, a picture okay, of any well, of this. I, I wished I had a long picture to show us. Now keep in mind too, this beach was not here. Right. This was put here in 73. This was all brought in, which is why we had that two feet of gray sand before we got well, to our orange sand. If, if that's the case, even if it was brought in, that, that water line still, I don't think it would have been 20 feet out. There's no way that the land would have gone 20 feet out. There's no way. I just didn't see it. But that could have been a well. Now, it could be just maybe a freshwater spring, spring that's, that's, that's bubbling just, in, up, just and bubbling up into the water. Yeah. And that might be the same thing there, too. But for a kid to fall into a well, I'm going to say that's it's going to be on land. Well, like I say, that well did have wood planks. There was one left on the end of it. It looked hard to judge in, by the picture because I don't have anything to compare to. But in my mind, it looked like it was about six feet long, you know, one by three, old wooden plank from a fence or something, and you could see where someone was probably kneeling on it to get water out at that time. Now, one other thing too is what caught my attention was that lid that we found there. I think that that is a historical marker because we found the same thing down in Panther Key that is, looks exactly like that plate, identical, which. Is, Obviously, there's a historical site there as well, because there's a well on Panther Key. I think that's why they got placed there. And we know that that was made, that cement there was from 47. That's when the young child fell in. So we know, we do know that much, you know, and we, we have at least somewhere to begin there. And obviously, that'll start with the caches going all out. All right, it's going to be there. It's going to be where somebody wants fresh water if they're pulling boats in from the 18th. Well, that's why we found indigenous people's artifacts yeah. here. So we know that this place was used by the Spain, by the, yeah. by the indigenous yeah. people. So they would have buried something. They would have buried something where it's a landmark. Yeah, a and and higher, another thing too block. is, even look at those trees, okay? Let's go back 204 years and look, yeah. if there were trees that size, mm -hmm. Now you're taking a hell of a gamble. If I take an axe, I mark on the tree, somebody's going to go, somebody put something here. Mm -hmm. And number two, are those trees going to be there when I come back in two years after the storms? Right. The well has been there 400 right. years. Yep. 
the well will always be there. Mm -hmm. so let's bury the stuff around the well. Said. Said, and we go back, we, get, we find the water, and we'll I went to Wall out. Springs, and I'm like, yeah. Wall Springs no, is too far in. No, it's too far in, in and there's we've no been way. There. There's got to yeah. be somewhere where there's fresh yeah. water local you could not, that you can pull. It second, skiff up. you can get a 100-foot boat up there. Yeah. And that is totally feasible to catch in the kedging, which yep. they obviously got in the boat, yep. they throw the anchors, mm -hmm. they pull the big boat in mm -hmm. until they get it close enough to where it's feasible to put the barrels in the boat to come in to fill them up at the well and then row back up. They could have gotten, for all we know, right in that point. When we... All right, do we want to go back there and then wrap that up? Yeah, let me let me just stick that spot. Let's, let's stick a couple of holes just to see if there's anything there. I'm kind of... Ooh, big hit right there. Big hit? Right there, big hit. About a foot down, it looks like to me. Hear it going off? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Right there. Where? <laughs> I'm already getting something. What is that? I don't know. Oh shit, it's metal. Ooh. Huh? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. What is that? It feels like a bottle. Dude, it's that's probably nice. gold. What is this? See that. Can you believe this? Let me see that. Jose Gaspar was here. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. This doesn't look anything like his signature. I've seen it. I'm the only one who's seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> Thank you.